Yo, so today we're going to be looking at some of the dumbest ways to use LEGO. This video is going to be absolutely packed with all the things you shouldn't do while playing with these interlocking bricks. And we're really going to be pushing things to the limit to see just how far we can take it. Okay, so the very first LEGO sin that you can commit is by opening a brand new shiny set by crushing it with your feet first. Yeah, that was kind of painful to watch, not gonna lie. And by doing this, there's even a chance that some pieces break. Alright, and the next dumb thing to do is to build a LEGO car. Then we can use some rope and attach it to my electric skateboard. This thing can actually go like 40 kilometers an hour, so let's see if the car survives. Okay, well that didn't last long. That's probably the fastest speed this LEGO set ever traveled, even if it wasn't all in one piece. Okay, so you can also open all the bags from a LEGO set at the same time and mix them together into one big pile of LEGO pieces, which is just going to make building the set a lot harder and more time consuming. And the instruction booklet is actually quite thick, so wish me luck. Yeah, so this took me nearly three hours to build this thing. And now that we have a LEGO plane, we can do another dumb thing and see if it can actually fly. I mean, I think we all know the answer, but let's go. Okay, yeah, I think throwing a Lego plane out of a building is something that we all wanted to do as a kid. And you are literally watching three hours of my life break into little pieces. But yeah, that was a dumb way to use Lego and the plane definitely took some damage. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this is a full Lego globe. It spins around and we can basically see the entire world. But what if we take it off the stand and try to commit another illegal way to use Lego and start using it to play some football instead? Yeah, so it kind of started falling apart. So I'd say that kicking your Lego sets around is definitely a dumb idea. Okay, so some of the more fun LEGO sets come in the form of a boat, because you can basically fill up your sink and pretend that you're sailing in the ocean. Wait, what the heck? This one doesn't actually float. But what if we still try and put it in the real sea anyways? <laughs> yeah, so this is also a dumb idea, because if you lose any pieces, you're basically putting more plastic into the sea. And that's even worse than committing illegal building techniques. So this is definitely dumb. But I also bought this LEGO set, which lets you build this box. And the designers actually cooked with this one, because it looks really cute and cool. So one thing you shouldn't do is to take it out into the actual wilderness. Here we see a small fox in its natural habitat. And you could pretend that it's your pet, but it's not going to listen to you. So to make it even more dumb, you can buy an actual leash for it and try taking it for a relaxing walk in the woods. Bruh. Yeah, don't do this if you don't want to lose any more pieces. You can also turn the set into a squirrel instead. Oh, this thing's actually kind of cute. So what if we give it a new home and place it on my little tree in the garden? That's actually kind of crazy. It looks like a real squirrel. <laughs> And maybe try feeding it some nuts? Uh, I don't think he's hungry though. Man, this is boring. Oh no, his head came off. Or if you prefer plants, you can also build this little tree instead. And pretend it's an actual plant in your garden. This is a dumb idea though, because the sun and the weather will probably damage the pieces over time. And if you try to water it like any other plant, it will just fall apart. Okay, so sometimes when trying to connect a bunch of plate pieces, you need a bit more power. So a dumb thing that you can do is try using a metal hammer to connect them. But wait, this thing is a bit too small. That's a lot better. But yeah, hitting your Lego with a hammer could also damage the pieces. Or you could see if an entire set will be able to survive a hammer attack just for fun. So I mean, yeah, this is definitely a dumb idea if you want to keep your Lego sets intact. So another way to misuse Lego is by destroying the instructions. Yeah, these instructions are definitely not usable anymore. So now I'm going to try to build this car just by using this cover image. Okay, well this is what I came up with. Yeah, and it definitely looks just a bit different from the original. But I mean, at least it still drives, I guess. But yeah, bro is definitely not a master builder. So let's rebuild this thing properly. And now that we have these whips, I want to see if we can make them drift. So let's use some dish soap to make the ground extra slippery. Okay, so we could pull some sick drifts. But now all of the LEGO pieces will be oily and hard to use. So this is definitely a thing you shouldn't do with your LEGO. But at least it will keep your pieces clean, I guess. So LEGO releases quite a lot of construction related sets. But what if we took it further and actually take this excavator set to an actual construction site? So yeah, now I can finally live out my childhood dream of driving real life heavy machinery. And pretend like I'm doing actual construction work. But this could turn into a dumb idea very quickly. Yeah, playing in building zones could get dangerous real fast, so make sure this is another thing that you don't do with your LEGO. Okay, so I also randomly bought these massive fake LEGO base plates. They're literally 50 by 50 studs. This is how you test if a base plate is good quality. Yeah, I'd say that sounds pretty good. So let's quickly fill up with some bricks. And then I want to see how far we can actually bend it around before things start falling apart. What the heck, that's actually kind of crazy. How is it not breaking? Yeah, I'd say that was pretty dumb. So next I built this big Lego cargo crane. So let's attach it to the base plate and it can actually move, lower the chain hook and pick up a container. Yay! So let's see if the family inside of it can survive while sliding down the stairs in my house. So the crane broke a little bit and the family definitely didn't survive. Yeah, so that was kind of dumb. We could also use them to simulate some heavy winds and cause pure chaos in our Lego city. Alright, so when building any LEGO set, you're usually going to be left with a bunch of these extra pieces, and they tend to be small and annoying to handle. So what if instead we become lazy and just use a vacuum cleaner to suck all of them up? 
Yeah, that was nice and easy. Although your pieces might be all dusty now. Okay, definitely don't do this because that's actually really gross. Okay, and sometimes normal Lego can get pretty boring. So what if we try to customize the pieces and make them unique? So I'm going to use some gold spray paint and cover this minifig with it. And after waiting for it to dry, it does actually look kind of cool. We basically made our own version of Mr. Gold. But I'd say this is still a dumb idea because it does ruin your pieces. So another way to customize your Lego is by using a soldering iron. The tip of it basically gets very hot, which means it will melt anything it touches. So I used it to write my name on the side. But again, it will ruin your bricks so it's kind of dumb. I also wanted to see if we can melt all the way through a minifix torso with it. Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. Yeah, so that went through really easily. It does stick like burnt plastic though, but this is what the inside of a minifig looks like if you ever wanted to know. Okay, what if we use a candle and wait for the wax to melt? Then we can pour it on top of a minifig. Wow, that's actually kind of satisfying. And I mean, there's no reason behind it. I just thought it was a stupid thing to do because you'll just make a big mess. We could also try using some sandpaper on the top of this minifig's head. <laughs> and get rid of the stud. Now bro has a truly bold and smooth head. You could also use it to sand off a minifix face. What the dog doing? And then draw your own using a marker. It's a great way to make your own cursed Lego, I guess. But what if instead of destroying Lego, we try to make it even stronger? So I took apart this minifigure and put it back together, but I used super glue at the same time. So once the pieces click, they're gonna stay connected forever. What the heck, it literally got stuck to the table. And just to see how strong this really is. Let me tell you something! Yeah, so he basically mostly survived that. But the minifig can't move anymore or do anything, really. So it's a dumb idea to glue your Lego in this case. One weird way you could use your Lego bricks is by chucking them in the freezer. And after a while, they'll be super cold. And you can throw them into a glass and use them as ice cubes. I can't lie, that actually looks really refreshing. But they won't stay cold for long and it'll probably make your drink dirty. And leave a weird taste in your mouth. So definitely don't do this. Another dumb way to use Lego is to place it somewhere far and then use it as a shooting target for your Nerf blaster. Oh, ouch, poor minifigs, man. So one thing that everyone kind of always wanted to do with Lego as a kid is to collect some actual dirt and put it on your set because you think it might make it look more realistic. And this was interesting to see what happens. But now you basically ruined your bricks and there's dust literally everywhere. And if you do need to clean your Lego, you could always just grab your water hose and start spraying it clean. And I guess it does kind of clean the Lego, but it's still a dumb way to use it because the water pressure is too high and it will just destroy everything. Dang, bro's really got the trip. So I like building Lego on my desk because I can easily keep track of all the pieces. But what if I get lazy and decide to start building on the sofa? And now the pieces can easily fall in between the cushions and get lost forever. Or what if I just forget I'm building it and accidentally sit on top of the set? So yeah, using your sofa as a building station is kind of a whack idea. And make sure you pick up all the pieces on the floor. Because if you have a robot vacuum, it will wake up and start hunting for any loose bricks. And trust me, this thing will clean up everything it sees. And just like that, they're all gross and dusty from the insides of the vacuum cleaner. Hey yo, does anyone want this chocolate ice cream? Okay, so one of the sets actually came with some Lego mountain bikes. And I remember seeing a video of someone riding the world's smallest bike. So I wanted to see if it's possible to ride the Lego bikes. Yeah, obviously it doesn't work and it's just dumb to even try. All right, and while I was outside doing my daily walk, enjoying the nature and trying to relax, I spotted these massive bricks. Now, obviously these aren't made by Lego, but they definitely look like a Lego brick, but just human size instead. So I guess a dumb thing to do would be to try and play with them. Okay, even using all my strength, it's just impossible to move these. Or maybe I'm just too weak. Bruh, they really made Lego bricks for the Hulk. All right, so this video was really fun to make. Let me know if you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next time.